people, it's Heather here, back in Memphis, Tennessee, my hometown. Let's sit up on this E, huh? You all have given me so much love over the Punta Cana Dominican Republic series. Before I started the series, I had 48 subscribers. And now you all have pushed me over the 100 subscriber milestone. <laughs> Yay, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much for you all for watching my videos, for spending that time with me. It touches me so much that you enjoy my content. Your support means the world to me. Thank you so much, I love you all. <laughs> here last year for the 4th of July and this is compliments to Bubble Bang. This is my favorite place in Memphis to get uh, boba tea, tapioca bubble tea. This is mango milk tea made with almond milk and I'm not I'm not vegan or lactose intolerant or anything. I just don't really like milk <laughs> all that much so almond milk is perfect. This is so refreshing. See that? The crazy noodle. <laughs> so we're here at my one of my absolute favorite restaurants in Memphis, but sadly it's closed because it has some weird hours. It closes at two and then reopens again at five and I'm like right in between them. That sucks. I really wanted some vegetable ramen. That's like my favorite dish. They have Korean style dishes here and their, uh, their ramen dishes are the best. So I'll just have to come back and show you the crazy noodle some other time. But quick check is open. <laughs> I think crazy noodle and quick check are like sister restaurants. This is like a convenience store and they have some hot food as well. So I'll pop in here and uh, see what I can pick up. Oh, this, the quick check has, this is where I get my bibimbap. I like these small local places. So here's where I always get my bibimbap. I'm not going to get it today, I'll just pick up some snacks. <laughs> well, I've got water, I don't need a drink. So this is one of my favorite streets in the Memphis area. I'm in Midtown, let's try not to get run over, shall we? <laughs> this is the Cooper Young area, or also called Overton Square. So this street, I like it way better than Beale Street. Beale Street is kind of Memphis famous and, you know, it's good in the sense that they closed down the street so that people can walk and do entertainment and experience it. But I like this way better. It has lots of trendy stores and restaurants. It's very walkable on a beautiful day like today. You can just walk around and check out just the different stores, clothing stores, lots of restaurants, lots of places to eat and like have snacks. So I love, I love Cooper Young. I love this area. So how did I end up in Memphis in the first place? <laughs> ah, well, I'll tell you. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> so my dad is from Trinidad and Tobago, specifically the island of Tobago. My mother is from Panama. So both my parents are immigrants and they migrated to the United States, met up in New York met, dated, fell in love, got married. 
and then they had my sister <laughs> so my sister and then they had me so my sister and I we were born in New York and when I was three months old my dad had a job in the Virgin Islands <laughs> he's a pilot so he had a little um, island hopping flying gig in the Virgin Islands so at three months old my family packed up moved from New York to St. Thomas of the US Virgin Islands and that's where I spent the first eight years of my life it was so beautiful that's really where I became a Caribbean girl because that's like you know of course I don't remember New York at three months old <laughs> My first experience at life was St. Thomas. Beautiful hills, beautiful beaches. It was a dream. It was great. <laughs> Look at this. It's so cute. It's a stop sign, but it says shop. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> hmm. So anyway, uh, from age zero to age eight, I was in St. Thomas, Virgin Islands, and we'd go to New York every summer to spend time with my cousin. So, you know, I was pretty familiar with the area. Here's a good place to sit and chat. <laughs> And then when I was eight years old, my dad's job caused us to move again. So that's when we moved to Memphis, Tennessee. We moved to, we moved from St. Thomas to Memphis, Tennessee. And it was such a culture shock. It was such a change from the island life to like US Southern life. I felt like it didn't fit in, but that was a long time ago. You know, I didn't have the Mem Memphis accent. People always asked where I was from which I don't even know why I talk the way I do. Oh, I hope that music isn't too loud for y'all. Sorry about the sound quality of some of my videos. But I don't know why I talk the way I do because I don't have the Caribbean accent like you'd expect in St. Thomas and I don't have the Memphis accent. And I don't know, I mean, I don't think my, my accent is like New York, but maybe that's the closest. But why would it be New York? I've only been there every summer. I don't think that would affect how I talk that much. Anyway, getting off track. Um, moved to Memphis, Tennessee when I was eight years old. And I'm still here. But like, when I was 15, my parents separated and divorced shortly after. When I was 17, my mother remarried. So it was my mother, my stepdad, my sister living in the same house and my dad elsewhere, but we're all in Memphis. And then, uh, and then my sister, a couple years later, my sister moved away from Memphis. She had a job in another city. So that was sad, she moved. And then the year after, my dad moved away from Memphis. So I was kind of, you know, that I dealt with that in my own way. <laughs> I mean, still keeping contact over the phone and everything. But then in 2017, two things, two things happened. So I graduated from University of Memphis, that was great. Bachelor's degree in computer science. I love it so much. I love coding and all those logical things. Um, but then my mom and stepdad also moved away from Memphis. They had, my stepdad had a house in Jonesboro, Arkansas. So it became more financially sensible to move there into their house instead of renting a house in Memphis. So they moved away. So one by one, all my family moved away from the Memphis area, leaving me in Memphis. So I'm all alone in Memphis. <laughs> it's just me. I've got lots of friends, but all my family is not here. They brought me to Memphis and then they left me here. <laughs> no, it's cool. My mother is close by. She's just like an hour and 15 minutes away, so I can see her fairly often. But uh, yeah, that's why uh, that's Oh yes, and after graduation, so around the same time that my mother was moving to Jonesboro, Arkansas, I was moving into my own apartment because around that time I started my job with FedEx Services, which I'm still working now. So yes, that's how I got to Memphis and that's why I'm still in Memphis. And 
and over the years, especially during the last five years where I'm like really on my own and I get to explore the city for myself, I've really developed a love for this city. You know, Memphis has its rap, but there's lots of good little hidden things about it. <laughs> One of which being, this is my favorite favorite little sweet shop. I already told you all that I'm in Midtown and here you'll find Sweet Noshings. It's a candy store. So you got ice cream and fudge, popcorn and candy. So we're gonna, <laughs> gonna take a look inside and see what they got. I really just want to get some fudge and popcorn for now, so we'll do that. Okay. Uh, can I get some fudge as well? So I would like the um, the peanut butter with Reese's pieces and also strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> That'll be it. Thank you so much. <laughs> so if you're ever in the Memphis area, check out Midtown and check out Sweet Noshings. You won't regret it. It's the greatest candy store. <laughs> this is the best pizza place in Memphis. Memphis Pizza Cafe. So if you're in Memphis, eat at this pizza. It's local, it's delicious. We have stores all over. There's one in Midtown, there's one in East Memphis, there's one in the Collierville area, and I think there's one in the Germantown area. And I think there's one in Whitehaven as well, so you have no excuse. Memphis Pizza Cafe. It's good pizza. Actually, I'm gonna have to send, I'm gonna have to show you my other favorite pizza place in Memphis. Cause this is, Memphis Pizza Cafe is best if you want just a standard pizza. But if you want Napoleon style pizza, you know, the Italian cooked in a fire roasted oven, then that is Chow Baby. So I'll show you Chow Baby as well. That's all the way across town, but depending on the type of pizza, it's either Memphis Pizza Cafe or Chow Baby. <laughs> so you gotta try them both. I said so. Do it. <laughs> so let me know what else you'd like to see. Do you want a QA? Do you want more backstory? Do you want more vlog style content of my daily life? I tend to only pick up my camera when something exciting is happening, but you know, I'm open to suggestions and input. Let me know, write them in the comments below. <laughs> and thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I love you all. Until next time. Bye.